Mike says, hi guys, I just got a new M4 Mac Mini and I want to move all my settings and some of my apps to my, from my old Intel Mac Mini to my new one. Is there a way to selectively choose what I transfer to the new Mac uh, other than an all or nothing backup restore or migration assistant? Also, is there a way to save a bare bones configuration for Mac OS iOS for future installs or duplication? Thanks for all the fish, Mike. <laughs> I'm guessing based on Mike's thanks for all the fish comment that he <laughs> might be someone who followed you over from MacCast. <laughs> oh, or, 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 or just, you know, just a Douglas Adams fan. Well, that that too. I, I mean, uh, uh, yes, a, a Douglas Adams fan for sure. But uh, I know that that was, that was in the title of your last that episode. That was my last Mac episode, Cast. yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, very cool. Did you ever get to meet Douglas Adams? I Adam? never did. I know he was a huge Mac guy. Yeah. He was. Yeah. Yeah. He he showed up at like a Comp USA in Austin while I was living there. I think to God, what was I, I want to say that the game was Spaceship Earth, but it wasn't. That's the Epcot uh, attraction. Uh, but oh, whatever yeah. that that game was that he came out with uh, yep. that that he was pushing and that we sat and had a long conversation. He also came to a couple of Macworld Expos, too. Yeah, so, yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I think yes. We, we, and it's interesting. We kind of talked about this earlier in the episode when sharing some tips that migration assistant does offer some level of granularity. We had that listener that chose not to migrate their their network settings to no avail for their problem, but still they were able to make that choice. And I think it's worth looking at those options. I my guess is the way Mike kind of what he's looking for. I don't think you're going to find the exact level of granularity that you want, but you might get something close. So take a look. It's not going to hurt to kind of dig through those options and don't just accept the defaults of, of migration assistant. Another fun little app that I've heard of lots and have never used. And I think we've even talked about it here on the show is a free app, uh, open source app called MacUp, M A C K U P. And this is really built for um, backing up and syncing your settings of apps between different uh, Macs, but might be the kind of thing that um, that that could, you know, at least keep a backup for you of some of these settings. So that would be another thing to look at um, p potentially. So uh, I don't know. It's a command line thing, but other than yeah. that, I don't. I don't have any ideas. Do you? Uh, no, just uh, so for, if people don't know uh, when you're using Migration Assistant, uh, you'll get to a screen that says "Select Information to Transfer," and then it'll show things like applications, and then I think the user accounts, and then there's one called Other Files and Folders, and then there's your system and network. A couple of those have little disclosure triangles where you can rotate those down and then get additional options. Unfortunately, applications and other files and folders don't have those. So you're not gonna be able to get any additional options there, but you will for your like user folders and your system and network files and stuff like that. Yep, 